you anticipated actually one of my um, later questions there, but I'll, I'll get to it right now. As um, are you are you uh, uh, is there any kind of films that influence your music? Also, do you have any aspirations to actually compose music um, for movies? Well, if there's ever a good time for it, and someone asks, then definitely yes. Um, whatever. It's, uh, I, I've I've been asked that question before, and then usually they ask, "What what movie would you like to write music for?" And I never seem to sort of get to the gist of that. Like you know, this uh-huh. movie that I want to write music for. But then a few days ago, I was thinking about this thing, and I found a movie of it. Interesting because actually, um, besides uh, besides being a columnist, I'm actually a, a host for a, a film score show. So <laughs> I'm going to put part of the yeah. inter- I'm going to put part of the interview on my show also. So <laughs> yeah, cool. That's very cool. Yeah, I'm curious. Um, the your cover, your band's cover version of "You Know My Name," the Chris Cornell version. I think that's the cover. Uh-huh. That's I as personally, I find that I find it. Brilliant. I mean, your your rendition of it is incredible. In fact, um, thank you. Without without, I'm not trying to insult Mr. Cornell here, but I think yours is a superior version, literally. I mean, it's oh, oh, oh I'm honored. Thank yeah, it's you. that it's that good. I mean, you have a you're you're true to the original version, yet you have this driving sense of urgency that's lacking in the original version. So, how how did you decide on you know orchestration? What direction were you trying to take with your redoing that song? Oh, uh, that's uh. That's a good question because that was um that was a few years back and I was uh-huh. really really taken by that song I really loved it and when we were asked to uh, cover a song for Voice TV um, I just uh, that was I think it I think it was the first song that I really wanted to do I was like yeah now we get to do Chris Cornell's uh, you know my name and uh, we just wanted to make it a very James Bondy kind of thing and yes. sort of have it fit our style like almost like it was a poet to the fall song so I guess that sort of brings in a lot more or at least some more you know high flying guitars and uh, yes. and a whole theatric sort of mood that, which we have in our music a lot of our fans call our music uh, cinematic rock which kind of tells you that we tend to take it to the movie soundtrack kind of direction and I think we took the same approach with you know my name we had it we added some elements there, um, but also because um, the law dictates that you're not supposed to do this, you're not supposed to do that when you're covering a song. So we, we really wanted to stay very, very true to the original version of that. So you know, I hope that answers your question. Oh yes, it, yes, it, it answers it very well. Thank you. <laughs> very cool. Spectacular answer. <laughs> I'm open. Okay. 